Amitji. How are you? How is life? Everything is great, Sunil. I am enjoying life, getting fixed to mount from Bank FD for my expenses, so all is well. Anyway, how are you? I am great as well, just like you. I am also getting fixed amount on my investments. But I have invested in balanced fund, so that I can get better amount than Bank FD at the time of maturity. What are you saying Sunil? Can you explain? Sure. See for example, we both invested, rupees 15 lakhs for 10 years period. On your Bank FD you are earning 8% interest and getting rupees 10,000 per month. I opted for balanced fund, and with SWP at 8% I am also getting rupees 10,000 per month. So the amount we will receive during the 10 years will be same, rupees 12 lakhs. So, what's the difference? Well, first there will be TDS deduction, on bank FD interest amount, rupees 1.2 lakhs, as 10% TDS is applicable on interest. But there is no TDS on balanced fund withdrawals. Oh yes, you are right. Second at the end of the 10 years term period. With Bank FD, you will get rupees 15 lakhs back, your principal investment amount. Add rupees 12 lakhs interest received, and you will be getting rupees 27 lakhs with Bank FD, against rupees 15 lakhs invested. However in balance funds, there will be capital appreciation, with growth of equity investment. For example, average end value after 10 years, in balanced fund was rupees 63.90 lakh, after 8% annual withdrawal, delivering a return of more than 20%. Add to it, rupees 12 lakh, a month received as monthly income, and my total return will be more than rupees 75 lakhs, total value. What are you saying? It's really shocking. Yes, Amatji, it's time to be smart and move your FD money to balanced funds. For more details on balanced funds contact your advisor.